Um, talk to me about, uh, let's, first of all, let's talk about the King's Speech. That's obviously one of the big events of the day, such as it is. Did yeah. it impress you? What do you think about it? Well, it was very interesting, actually. I left at the end, I was feeling quite sorry for him. I thought that he was trying really hard not to upset anyone, not to put a foot wrong. Mm. So we didn't see photographs because he was standing by his tree, mm -hmm. which was actually going to be replanted. Yes. Um, and that um, there weren't any photographs so that nobody... When the Queen put up some of the family and Harry and Meghan were included they made a huge fuss so we didn't get that at all mm. and I think also that he was trying to talk to every faith he was saying you know it applies to every faith and to people with no faith he was really trying to be accepted um, I thought he was a little a little sad um, and I felt he didn't need to be sad because so many people do like him. The fact that he's got a couple in his family who don't, but he, he does very well. Mm. And I thought it was very nice that we saw the photograph of Camilla. We saw uh, William and Catherine with their three delicious children. And we saw the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. And um, all those people were shown with photographs. He didn't say a word about them. He just said he very much appreciated his people helping and doing things and saving people. Mm. And that um, he didn't have to mention, didn't have to show any pictures of, of Harry and Meghan. And, and I thought... He did say, though, that he took a, this from the Bible that, you know, do unto others as you don't do unto others as you would have done to yourself. Mm. And I thought that was a, a very good hint that maybe Harry might pick up. You think, do you think Harry was watching? Um, I'm sure he was watching because I think that they look now for the slightest error so they can pounce. Oh, really? I wow, think it's right. that way now. Um, and it, he would see, you know, were they included? Were they, was there a picture of them? And I, I, I imagine that they would see it very much to see if they can make some sort of fuss okay. about it now. Uh, you, you mentioned that King Charles' speech, you felt it was quite broad, maybe. Very broad. broad. I mean, is that... Th this whole thing, is it necessary for him to try and appeal to everybody? Well, I think it's too difficult. You can't do that, actually. You're never going to make um, everyone happy. No, you never are. But, th well, you might make them a bit pleased, but not actually really happy. Mm. I think he wanted to take it at low degrees and show that he is open to everyone. But he was saying about um, climate change and things, it's, ver it's very important to think about the earth for our children's children. And following that, there was a primary school who sang a nice hymn. I thought those sort of things were very touching and had a strong point. But um, he didn't go zooming. The Queen used to sort of have quite cunning ways of um, telling people off. And I think this year he didn't want to at all. Mm. He wants to go through it and be calm. And I think it will be a happier occasion, or it has been a ha happier occasion, because last year was so close, two months, three months to the Queen's mm. passing. And so now they can actually enjoy things. Last year would have been very miserable and quiet and solemn, but this year it can be much fun. So you think uh, he's sort of warming to the role a little bit? And I think very much, quite a lot actually. Um, wherever they go, there, there's a lot of um, popularity now. Um, and you saw actually before in the Christmas, when they went to, to the Christmas in the, at the church, mm. the service, um, and people were calling and shouting and being very, very positive there. So what? which royals did appear today? Well, it was very interesting. I didn't say, um, what was odd? was that the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh mm -hmm. and um, yeah, Louise... Footage of them there. Yes, like and that. Princess Anne all wore the same scarf. OK. And I thought, somebody's given everybody a scarf. I thought oh, that's was, very funny. It's very, I thought it's very well, odd. They might have got, like, a two-for-one deal. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> what I thought. Special offer. Yeah, by, Marks and Spencer. <laughs> by, you know, buy two and you get two free. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, I thought it was lovely and it was very happy. And he was very smiling and the Queen was smiling and that, well, Andrew was there, which well, was Prince, quite interesting. Well, I can interesting. see him there. Is that, is that, do you think, is that a silent form of forgiveness from the King? 
Well, it is actually because I thought that um, he wouldn't be there because they would be worried in case people were would start shouting at him. The church gets Apparently, very sweaty, doesn't it? Yeah, well? but I think that um, people were arriving at 4 a.m. today, and yeah. it was really crowded. So there, you see that they want to see the royal family. They wanted to see the king, mm -hmm. um, and yes, and also Fergie, um, Andrew's wife. She was there. Um, and she was walking to church with the royal family for the first time in 30 years, which oh, wow. is a very yes. long time. His ex-wife, yeah. I mean, I think people are actually very fond of her. Yeah, she's well, a survivor. She is a survivor, and she's rather um, exotic in her ways. And I think that she, people, uh, the Queen liked her very much, but Prince Philip absolutely disliked her. So for 22 years, she wasn't allowed to come to any of the Sandringham Christmas. But last year, Camilla said, no, no, she must come. And so uh, she did. She's very forgiving. She's not a grudge-bearing person. And um, I thought that little Louis was having very good tempered. He had his father's hand, and on the other side, he'd had M Mia, who is nine, who is Zara's eldest daughter. Mm. And she was chatting away to him, and he was having a very nice time. And then Mia was chatting away to Charlotte, Princess Charlotte. And I thought it was very natural. It wasn't sort of them all walking to church upright, not saying anything in a so, nice uh, yeah, line. You can sort of see them walking there and they just seem like a family. Yes. Just happen to have um, a couple of thousand people watching on, <laughs> de <laughs> deconstructing, yeah. decoding every single movie. Yes, and I thought that was very nice. And also I spotted that um, uh, uh, Beatrice's husband was talking to her as they were walking along mm. and he looked at her with such a loving face. You know, he was really... You, you, you could see how much he cared for her, and I think that was lovely, because she's had a hard time, Beatrice, and to find somebody and got married, and she does look after his little son from another relationship, mm -hmm. um, and they have their own. But I thought that was very nice and very warm. And I think that the royal family are really coming back together actually, and um, making the most of it, which is why I was quite surprised that King Charles made his own speech a little low and uh, quiet, yeah, very well, maybe careful. Maybe he just doesn't want to be too pushy with yes, it or whatever. Yes, I'm sure that's right. And, I mean, you're speaking about the royal family coming back together. Of course, there's a couple of people who aren't weren't there. Yes. Do you think that they and their children will come back into the fold, certainly around Christmas? No, time. I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, William would go mad because he's, they've been so horrible about him. But more than that, they've been horrible about Princess Catherine. And William really wants to protect her. And I think a lot of people who really care about their partner can cope with things for themselves, mm. but find it much more upsetting if it's done to their partner. And I think that, you know, he's furious and he's been beyond ghastly, you know, lots of lies in there that aren't even true. But on the other hand, you know, King Charles is a father. He loves Harry, but he doesn't like what he's doing. That's what it is. And I think lots of people know that that's quite difficult. I guess. Um, but they don't actually blurp it all over the world um, in a nasty manner and bring out books about it. Well, that's it. It takes I mean, it too far. Christmas is a time of forgiveness, but you yes. have to ask for forgiveness. And yes. you know, I guess. Yes. And I guess we're not at that point yet. No. But uh, we'll see if it is. I mean, do you think the monarchy seems to be in a safe pair of hands with, with King Charles. I think, it is in a, I think it is in a good pair of hands. And also, I've been asked by a lot of um, different countries to talk about them, and they're, mm. they're so interested. And all of them, they really like the royal family, the English royal family. And it is the most popular royal family in the world. And I, I think that's right, and that's why it's wrong that Harry and Meghan can keep trying to bring us down to the ground and say we're out of date, we're old-fashioned. Not us, the royal family is out of date and old-fashioned. And I don't think they are. I think Charles has a, is very modern, actually. He came across things years before anyone else did, like climate change and plastic and all those things, mm. and proper eating. Um, and I think that that's... Um, been their mistake, and uh, it, 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 they do like us, and that's very yeah. important. And uh, King Charles is setting up William to take things forward as well into yes, the future. Yes, and he and William agree on a lot now, so they can work together, and I think that that would be 
marvellous. And, and the family is, is, is very appealing. You know, William's so handsome and so serious now about what he's doing. Catherine, who doesn't put a foot wrong and is doing this thing about young children, which is very important.